welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick get ready with me. It is 4th of July, so let me start off by saying I hope you all had a fabulous 4th of July. If you do not live in America and don't celebrate 4th of July, I hope you had a fabulous Tuesday. But it is 4th of July when I am filming this. We have a party we're going to later. It's kind of like a pool party for the kids, barbecue for the adults type thing. And I just wanted to get ready. This is the look that I chose to wear. And I will say that the reason I was kind of motivated to do this look was Chad and I went to see Wonder Woman a couple of weeks ago. And if you haven't seen it, I personally really enjoyed it. I don't know if you're into like superhero movies. We like those kind of movies. So um, Chad is very hard to please with movies and he enjoyed it too. But obviously we look at makeup when we watch movies. So I was looking at Gal Gadot. I don't know if that's how you say her name, but who played Wonder Woman. Obviously I was paying attention to her makeup and I do follow her makeup artist for the movie on Instagram. And she's been posting a lot lately about the kinds of things that she used um, on gal during the movie and this showed up more than once and it's the smashbox la lights blendable lip and cheek color in venice beach bronze and this is a small one that came in with a set but it's basically just a very bronzed color and so i searched for it and searched for it and searched for it and i honestly don't think they make it anymore but you can use anything in its place but this that's just what kind of inspired me to do this look so i use it on my eyes as well as my face so if you want to see how i got this bronzy look for my fourth of july party that i'm going to later then just keep on watching okay so no it doesn't look like i'm wearing anything but i promise i am i have primed my eyes and done my brows obviously but it's been a while since i did my skincare so i'm going to spray my face first with this smashbox primer water To give a little bit of extra hydration I, my face has been feeling really tight lately which is not all that normal for me so the more hydration the better and i've just been spraying my face all day long so we're going to start out with kind of the star of the show per se what made me want to do this look in the first place which i'm pretty sure i've already talked to you about in the intro but it is the um smashbox ellie lights venice beach bronze I don't think they make this anymore, which is so sad, but I'm going to take that. It's obviously a multi-stick. It can be used on your face, eyes, even lips if you wanted to, but I'm just going to take that and I'm just going to pretty much apply it all over my lid. can go up into my crease. That's fine. Just as a base. I don't even know if that's really going to come off, but it's just a really light bronzy copper color and it's just going to act as the base for my lid color, which I'm going to be working out of the Persona Identity palette. I think it's still sold out, but y'all know how much I adore this palette. Hands down, my favorite palette. And honestly, I'm just going to use my finger and I'm going to dip it into Gold Digger, which is this really pretty gold color right here, and apply that on top of that base. This, the Smashbox stick is extremely sticky, so it works as an amazing eye base. I'm not doing much more than this for my eyes. I'm going to mix Charming and Humble to make a little bit of a lighter transition color, and I'm using my Wayne Gossamer 16 brush, and I'm just going to apply that to the crease just to give my eyes a little bit more dimension. But here's the deal. I'm going to a pool party. I'm not swimming. It's mo it's mostly like a pool party for the kids and then all the adults are just going to like eat, <laughs> hang out, and then we'll all do fireworks later. But I'm not trying to like go full on smoky eye. You will say I do. I'm going to do a little bit more on my skin because I want that to be the focus. But n no one needs more than this for like an outdoor barbecue. That's just my humble opinion. Please don't anybody come for me because I'm obviously speaking for myself. That's all I'm going to do for the eyes. Now I'm going to go in and prime, and this is the new Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. It's a primer plus a moisturizer in one, and it says it has hyaluronic acid and niacinamide. It's very, 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 very liquidy. I take, let me see if I can get it to focus. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. See how liquid that was? It got out of focus. I take two or three, um, 
pumps and I just kind of like lightly press it in. I do go under my eyes with this one since it is so moisturizing and since it does have hyaluronic acid and niacinamide, it can't hurt under the eyes. And I just try to be as gentle as possible because I don't want to, even though it's been a while since I've done my skincare, I don't want to disrupt my SPF too much. So this is, it is very moisturizing, but it also becomes tacky when you apply it, which I'm assuming is the primer properties. Um, I have used this quite a bit since I've gotten it. It does say that it can be used in place of a moisturizer. I don't use it in place of one because I always do a moisturizer and then an SPF. I'm gonna correct real quick with my Sephora Bright Future corrector. I honestly don't have much more of this left. Mascara under my eyes from yesterday, I guess. Okay, so this is where it's gonna be a little extra probably for some of y'all, but I don't know how well it translates over camera, but my face is probably two to three shades lighter than the rest of my body. I have been self tanning and I have been, um, you know, at the pool with the kids and stuff. So I do have a lot more sun and color on my body. So I'm gonna use two kind of foundation products. The first one I'm gonna use is the It Cosmetics CC Plus Bronzer. And this is a color correcting bronzing full coverage cream. So basically it's like the bronzing version of their original CC cream. And it came, the one that I got came with a brush and it's the Complexion Perfection Kabuki. So I just put a couple of pumps onto my hand and I'm just gonna put that Kabuki right down in that, get some on it, and you will see how bronze it really is. So I don't know if you can tell, um, it really does a good job of kind of matching my face to the rest of my body. Now, I have not tried this by itself. It would probably work by itself, but this original CC cream does not last that much long on me. So I always top this with a foundation. And I choose one that may be a little light on me because this is so bronze that once I do apply something on top of it, it will help the color be more true to what I need. I really like that brush too. Like, totally could just walk out the door in this and it's got the extra SPF in it. I'm really liking it. It's probably the fifth or sixth time I've used it and I like that brush too. But I am going to apply a little bit of this. This is the Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and it's it's in the color Warm Beige 3.5 but it's just too light for me right now. So I'm just going to take a couple of pumps of this and it is very thin. You can see how it runs down and just apply that with a sponge on top of the bronzer. So you'll see that even though it looks really light right here, it kind of melds in with that bronzer and makes it a perfectly fine color to wear. Especially once we bronze up with like cream bronzer and stuff like that. I feel like I'm super bright. Let me know, do you want me to be brighter or darker in my videos? Like do you want the lighting to be? Because I feel like that's the one thing I struggle the most with. So I just like, I really like that combination of foundation products. I think that they lay really well on top of each other and the color together seems to work pretty good for me. So the concealer that I'm gonna use, I wanted something that was like closest to my skin tone that I could get and the one that is that is my Charlotte Tilbury Retoucher. I know I've used this a lot lately in videos but I really do love it. So I'm just gonna put little bit because I don't want this to end up looking like I have a ton of makeup on my face. Very natural um, product. I really like that. Let me hear my kids. All right, so I'm gonna go back to this Smashbox and I'm gonna kind of color it where I would normally cream bronze. Now, if you see, I don't know if it's gonna come across, it's very pink toned, which I mean, I'm okay with because it does kind of lean towards like a more natural been in the sun look. I hear Cortland down there. She's saying mooser, mooser. That's what we call little moose. I pull this color up more than maybe some of my other bronzers because it does have that pink undertone. So it can also double as like a cream blush. 
And you can see I'm not just drawing a straight line, I'm kind of also drawing it above that and then blending it up. I mean, I always suggest blending any kind of cream bronzer or cream contour up, but especially this one because it does lean almost rosy. I'm gonna set with my NARS crystal powder. Y'all know I rarely deviate unless I'm doing some kind of like concealer review where I wanna tell you how it worked with different powders. Like I just rarely get away from this one. I love it so much. All right, so I'm going to set my entire face with the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I didn't want anything too mattifying, but because these two foundations are a little bit more on the radiant side, I also didn't want a radiant powder. So this is kind of the best of both worlds. And I'm using this new It Brushes for Ulta Airbrush Blurring Powder number 126. And I love it. I kind of stamp it on and then I buff it. And I also take it down my neck because I have put that bronzing cream down there and I want to set it so it doesn't transfer because I don't know what I'm wearing yet. So last thing I want is to put on a shirt that I end up really liking and having bronzer all over it. The bronzer I cannot stop using lately. Like when I say cannot, since I got it over a week ago, I've not used another bronzer. And it's the Becca Sunlit Bronzer, and I got the color Bronzed Bondi. So it's this color right here. It has, again, a little more of a, I'm using the viewfinder as my mirror. Hopefully this looks okay. It has a little more of a red undertone, which I just really like. And because I love the color so much, I'm using my Tom Ford bronzer brush so that I can put a lot on my face. We make the most attractive faces when we apply makeup, don't we? So for blush, I am taking my Hourglass Ambient Strobe Lighting Blush Palette and I'm going to mix all of them. So I'm just taking my blush brush just like that, and tapping off because they are super pigmented. super pigmented, but I like that because I put a lot of bronzer on, so I want a lot of blush to kind of balance it. And then I'm going to take, because I put my Hourglass Radiant Light in my kit, I think. So I'm taking the NYX No Filter Powder. This is in the color beige. And I'm going to buff just on my blush and, oh no, just scratch my face, but it's all right. I'm just going to buff on my blush and bronzer part right here. I'm going to use my NARS Bonk de Sable Highlight Palette for my highlighter. And again, I'm just going to take my A23 brush and I'm just going to go like this. What I do every time I use it, I don't think I've ever used the powders. Have I used the powders by themselves? Only when I use them for eyeshadows have I used them by themselves. And so I'm just going to apply that. Give me a highlight mustache because I love a highlight mustache little bit down my nose and then if you feel like it or if I feel like it sometimes I'll just lightly buff over that but rarely do I want to take down my highlight now I'm going to use the Algenist splash hydrating setting mist before I do any kind of mascara that may have sounded like a lot but this spray gives the tiniest amount every time you spray it. So it wasn't a ton, but I'm really liking that stuff. I mean, it just I don't know, it takes the powder look away. And I just, I have a bronzed look on my face. I look bronzed. That's my goal, to look bronzed. So I'm going back into the Identity palette and I'm gonna take those two colors again, Humble and Charming, on my Wayne Goss number 20 brush. And buff, buff, buff for my eyes. And I think when you're doing like a really bronzy look, the lower you go down under your eyes, the better. But you know me, Emma. Under eye smile. Like I just don't feel complete without it. So curl my eyelashes. This is my Kevin Aquan eyelash curler. 
Before I do any kind of mascara or liner, I'm going to go in with Sassy, which is this really pretty highlight color. And it is super pigmented. You will see. That, yes, I know it's showing up because I can see it in my viewfinder. It's kind of like the white version of nylon. Like, just super pigmented. And because I love a glowy brow bone, regardless of what some people say. Put it on my brow bone also. I'm using the Marc Jacobs Earthquake Gel Highliner Pencil to tight line and use on my waterline. Matte Giga Black Lash for my lower lashes. I'm gonna prime with my L'Oreal Voluminous Mascara Primer. It's the only one I use anymore. Then, oh, fell in love with this flipping mascara and I'm so mad. It's the Chanel La Volume, La Volume de Chanel. I guess I'm gonna have to buy the full size because, well, I'll show you in a second. All right, so I'm gonna zoom in. Don't pay attention to the smudge that I got on my eye. I will fix that later, but do you see the difference in my lashes with the Chanel, without the Chanel? Like, that's why I have to buy the full size. Do you blame me? Okay, so for lips, I'm going to start out with MAC Cherish. It's actually a brand new tube. Gotta love a brand new tube of lipstick. And then I'm going in with, here my kids, NARS Gold Digger. I don't think you can get this by itself. It came in a set. I wish they sold it by itself. Because it's such a pretty gloss to top lipsticks with. And it's really comfortable too. Like it's not super sticky. So this is the look that I'm wearing for my 4th of July party. It's just bronzed wanted it to match my body so hopefully you enjoyed this video i wanted to just do kind of a quick get ready with me we'll see how quick it is once i actually edit it but be sure and subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss out on any future videos as always thank you so much for watching and i hope you all have a very blessed day